Hey everybody, it's Norma. So look, I came home from work just now and there was a box waiting for me. Unfortunately, it's probably going to be one of many this week. But this is my final Bath and Body Works haul from the 2 for 22 sale. As you guys know, they had the 2 for 22 sale going on at Bath and Body Works during Columbus Day weekend. And then it went away. And then those evil people brought it back this weekend. So this weekend's just been a frenzy of buying because um, a lot of the major candle companies had some good sales going on. So I'm kind of excited about this one because I honestly, in all the frenzy, I don't remember what I ordered. So we'll unbox it and let's see what I got. Okay, so I finished the unboxing and I just have a mess on my living room floor. That's the one thing I don't like about buying online is, you know, the unboxing and getting rid of all the packaging and everything like that. It's kind of a pain. But anyway, my cats can have fun with it tonight because I'm not going to deal with it tonight. I'll have to get rid of it tomorrow and it's probably supposed to rain overnight and so it probably won't be till when i get home from work if it stops raining because i have to walk around behind the building i i have a condo and i'm on the second floor so i have to go up and down stairs and my dumpster is in the back of the building so it's just really a pain to take things and i have to make sure the boxes are broken down or else you could get a fine yeah condo life love it but anyway so um, I think I did pretty good with my order since I couldn't remember what I had. I did get some backups of since I had ordered, you know, during the original two for 22, just because I liked them. And then I decided to try a couple new ones. So I got Thanksgiving morning, Thanksgiving harvest, and Thanksgiving feast. This is pumpkin pecan waffles which smells wonderful I haven't tried it yet sweet cinnamon pumpkin this smells fabulous I would say it might be one of my favorite besides the pumpkin sugar donut I decided to go ahead and try Thanksgiving feast which is frosted cranberry um, I believe uh, Sean aka hearth and soul did a review on this and he really liked it and I'm not like super big on cranberry scents but you know, I figured, you know, Thanksgiving is part of the collection. You know, I do like cranberry sauce. It's not that I don't like cranberry. It's just, um, you know, sometimes the cranberry candles just don't appeal to me. But that one does smell really good. In fact, it was the first one that I pulled out of the box. And it was, like, tightly wrapped in bubble wrap like you would not believe. And I could smell it through the bubble wrap. So that's a pretty good sign. And then I got two more of the pumpkin sugar donut, which I absolutely love so far. I haven't tried too, too many of the Bath and Body Works candles that I've got. I've, you know, tried probably four of them, maybe five. And hands down, this one so far is my favorite because I'm not a huge bakery fan. But when I like bakery, this is the kind of scent I like. You get the, 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 the sweet pumpkin and the fried sugar donut. I actually like this one a little bit more than the cinnamon sugar donut just because of the pumpkin adds that little extra sweetness and spice that I like. So that is a total win in my book. I got a second one of pumpkin cupcake and I kind of wish I'd gotten a second, I mean a third pumpkin sugar donut. My first burn of the pumpkin cupcake went really well and I tried this one right after my first burn of cinnamon sugar donut which as you guys may recall. My first three burns of cinnamon sugar donut, I had no scent throw whatsoever. I am happy to report that after the third burn, it did start to, to throw really well. In fact, now that I'm almost near the end of it, it's getting a lot better, so I can kind of see what everyone made such a fuss about it. But, you know, I had such a disappointing experience. It was my very first Bath and Body Works candle, and the first three burns were like not a zip. So I did pumpkin cupcake next, and I could smell it, so I was so excited. So I thought I really, really liked it. But compared to pumpkin sugar donut, I like the pumpkin sugar donut better. The pumpkin cupcake's a lighter throw a little bit, and there's a little sweetness in there, which, you know, because I'm not a huge bakery person, you know, I don't want anything that's too sweet. But it's okay. I probably won't exchange it. I'll probably keep it. And then a new one I got is peach bellini. 
and there's only one reason I got this because normally I don't buy peach candles at all anymore because they just have a light throw to me and you know peaches aren't aren't my I don't know I'm just not crazy about peaches but you know I started doing candle reviews about a year ago this time and I can remember at everyone was talking about peach bellini and raving and ooing and eyeing over peach bellini so it stuck in my mind it was like oh I guess if I ever try Bath and Body Works candles I'll have to get peach bellini so when I went to order this time lo and behold there it was I actually was a little bit more interested in the other scents in this collection but um, for instance black tie sounded really appealing to me and I can't remember what the other ones were and I was tempted to get all of them, but you know, you have to draw the line somewhere. Yeah, right, right, right. So I didn't get them. Um, I did get the Peach Bellini, and this is another one. It was wrapped in the cellophane. I mean, it was like Fort Knox trying to break it out of the, the cellophane. And I could smell it like strongly through the cellophane. So the scent throw cold is really, really strong. I mean, it's pleasant. It smells like, you know, like a peach. Um, like peach schnapps basically or uh, fuzzy navel was a popular drink you know back in the 80s it has that smell like I said it's not a scent that really appeals to me but I mean it's pleasant and it's, it smells like it's going to be really strong so I'll probably keep it you know I'm not 100% sure so if you guys have tried this scent before please comment down below let me know what your thoughts are on it and then I got I'll come to these two in a minute I got Cranberry Woods. This is the one I was the most nervous about. And out of all of these, this is probably my least favorite on the cold throw. It reminds me a lot, the label is beautiful. It reminds me a lot of Yankee's Autumn Wreath, which I just had been burning for two months in a row. I burned it through September and October, and it didn't really do that well for me. And for some reason, this reminds me of that candle, even though this is cranberry and autumn wreath was supposed to be apple, but they're a similar type of candle, I think. So I don't know. It does, it's not offensive or anything. I don't hate it like I hated mahogany teak wood, but I don't think it's going to be a love unless it like transforms itself as it's burning. And then new candles I got, everyone was talking about twisted peppermint. So I picked up one of those. I guess it's not new. Um, the only new one I got, I think it's new, I don't know, you guys tell me, I'm not a Bath and Body Works person, is Tis the Season, and this is because you know, a lot of people said they got it, and the label was really cute. Twisted Peppermint, smells fabulous, I mean, you know, similar to Yankees, like Jack Frost, actually, you know what, it's not like Jack Frost or North Pole, maybe, maybe, it smells more like um, their peppermint bark, is this, is this supposed to have chocolate in it? Kind of reminds me of their their peppermint bark, or yeah, maybe it's not. I don't know, but it is it, it is good. It you know it's got a strong scent throw, and then just the season. What is this supposed to smell like? I do like the fact that Bath and Body Works puts their scent descriptions on the bottom. I think that's fabulous. Uh, red apple, cinnamon, cloves, deep green pine. Yeah, that's kind of what it smells like. Like a little bit of everything in there. Let me see what this Twisted Peppermint says. Does it have chocolate? Probably not. Vanilla and sugary musk and peppermint. Okay, well, to me it smells a little bit like peppermint bark. But I have the candle. I can get them out and do a comparison whenever. So there you guys have it. That is my... Final Bath and Body Works haul, and I don't know why all of a sudden I got out of focus, but there it is. So, good night, God bless, and if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below.